So, you want a trouble-free Windows installation? I am Drive One! <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Halsey, the author of Troubleshooting Windows 7 Inside Out and Troubleshoot and Optimize Windows 8 Inside Out from Microsoft Press. And in this video, I'm going to show you how when you install Windows, you can avoid problems occurring with your Windows Boot System Reserve partitions. And if problems have already occurred, I'm going to show you how you can fix them. When you install Windows on your computer, the operating system automatically creates a small system reserved boot partition at the beginning of the hard disk. It uses this to store information on how to start the operating system and how to repair the operating system if something goes wrong. But if you have more than one physical hard disk in your computer, then this system reserved partition could end up on the wrong drive and this can cause all sorts of problems later on such as preventing you from being able to create a system backup image of the operating system and also preventing you from ever changing or removing that second hard drive. So let's first of all look at how we can install Windows without these problems occurring. When you install Windows on your computer the installer will ask you which hard disk you want it installed on. And if you have more than one physical hard disk in your computer, you'll see them listed as Drive 0, Drive 1, Drive 2, and so on. Drive 0 is the primary disk, and this is the one on which the system reserved boot information is going to be stored. So this is the hard disk on which you want to install your copy of Windows. If you already have a, an existing Windows partition on Drive 0, then I would recommend that using the tools uh, that are available to you here, you delete that partition and you have the installer create a new one. This will avoid any problems from occurring. If you have a traditional desktop tower PC, now one way you can guarantee that Windows and the system reserve partition end up on the same physical hard disk is to physically unplug all your other hard disks when you install Windows. Now, be careful to be safe when you do this. Make sure that the computer is switched off, disconnected from the mains electricity, and the computer is on a flat, stable surface when you open the case. So let's now have a look at how we can move the system reserve partition to make sure it's on the same physical hard disk as your Windows installation, be this Drive 0, Drive 1 or whatever. Now to do this in Windows 7 you need to open the Disk Management Console and you do this by opening the Start menu, right clicking on Computer and selecting Manage from the options that appear. In the window that then pops up, click Disk Management in the left hand side. In Windows 8 you do it slightly differently by holding down the Windows key and pressing X on your keyboard to bring up the administration menu and clicking Disk Management in the list that appears. When you're in the Disk Manager in Windows, right click on the drive containing Windows itself and from the options that appear, select Shrink Volume. You'll now be asked how much space you want to shrink the drive by. Now, by default, Windows 7 for the system reserved partition requires 100 megabytes, and Windows 8 requires 350 megabytes. But I would always err on the side of caution and use 400 megabytes. So, type 400 in the amount of space you want to shrink, and then when you're ready, press the shrink button. When the operation is completed, you'll want to create a new partition in this unallocated space. So right click on it and select new simple volume. Just click through all of the options, but make sure it has a drive letter. Doesn't matter what drive letter it is, but make a note. In this case, it's G. So we'll say that we want to format it. And now we have our new drive on which we can uh, move the system, uh, the system reserve partition files to. We now need to open the command prompt, which you can do in Windows 7 by searching for CMD in the Start menu search box and then right-clicking on it when it appears and selecting Run as Administrator 
from the options. In Windows 8, you open the administration menu again by pressing the Windows key and X and selecting command prompt admin. Now that we've got the command prompt open, we need to move all of the system reserve files over to the new partition that we've created. And we do this with four commands. And remember to press the enter key after each one. The first command, bcd boot, actually moves all of the files to the new location. And the two drive letters here, C and G, you may want to change. C, in my case, is where the Windows installation is located, that's the drive letter for it, and G is the drive letter for the new partition that's been created. So these may be different on your computer. The next command is disk part, and this opens a utility where we can set the new partition we've created as the active system reserve boot partition. The third command selects the volume that we've created, the partition we've created, in this case G, but it may be different on your computer, as um, the active partition and here we'll set it as active with the fourth command and do remember to press enter after each of those. Now the system reserve partition has been moved and it is in the new location and you can close the command prompt window. There's now only one thing left to do. We need to go back into the disk management console the same way that you did earlier and right click on the new drive, new partition that we've created. From the options that appear, you want to click change drive letter and paths because we want to remove the drive letter from this drive so it doesn't show up in your computer as a drive because you don't want to accidentally make changes to it that can render your entire copy of Windows unusable. So just click the remove button to remove the drive letter from this drive. And the next time you restart your computer, you will have a new system reserve partition on the drive and in the location that you want it to be. I hope you found this video helpful, and you can find much more information in my books, Troubleshooting Windows 7 Inside Out, and Troubleshoot and Optimize Windows 8 Inside Out from Microsoft Press. But for now, from me, Mike Halsey, and with music by Kevin Levy, thank you for watching.